Hello everybody, today is Sunday, November 5th. We have just completed the Houston Quilt Festival. We went out and had dinner, had a great time. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record Jason and Kevin's haul, and then my haul will be up on Wednesday doing the live chat at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, let's get started. quilters so what had happened was what had happened was this was <laughs> my first time at international quilt festival and we did a little shopping so i'm gonna share my purchases with y'all so we got in on a tuesday night wednesday was the setup day so we didn't have nowhere to go wednesday during the day so we did a little shop hopping so that was the first part of the uh haul was shop hopping we went to this store called Buttons and Bows Fabric. Um, it was our first shop here in Houston area and I found this fabric which is like an ombre. It goes all the way from dark to light and then it repeats on the same side. So I saw that and had to get a couple half yard cuts of that. So I have it in a few different colors like more of a rainbow. Oh, I didn't know it went to that many colors. <laughs> so this is more of a rainbow one. And then there is a blue. It just is a blue to purple ombre. Mm -hmm. And then the blue to green ombre. So I got that and then there was um, some yardage of this batik that was on sale. Another ombre batik. One side is these colors and then we flip it over here on the ombres to that. So that was buttons and bows. Then we stopped at, what was this quilt cool shop's name? So Special Quilts. And I just got some of Rashida Coleman Hale's fabric from Ruby Star Society. Um, and some fat quarters of hers as well because all of the fabric I'm using in the Wensleydale quilt is Ruby Star and old cotton and steel. So I got a few more pieces to add into that quilt. Um, and then I got this cute fabric that's like all of these fabric um, like pins, sewing is my cardio, measure twice, cut once, fabric stash. So I thought this was really cute. I'm uh, gonna make something out of this to commemorate our trip here to Houston. So that was before the festival even hit. And you got a free gift. Oh, and we got a free Villa Rosa pattern. That was the deal of the day at So Special. So I got the pumpkin patch Villa Rosa pattern. All right, so that was all on Wednesday. Then Wednesday night at festival, um, the one thing I bought, well tried to buy at festival, um, was this from Jen Kingwell, these foundation papers, and I bought three of her booklets, which are over in my backpack um, over there. Um, but I got three of her booklets as well. Um, as this foundation paper piecing. I got that on Wednesday night on preview night. Um, and then Thursday, we went back for more. Um, this is where I got to, I got on Thursday, I got to meet Edita Star, Edita, Edita, um, from Laundry Basket Quilts. And I bought her new book called uh, Rainbow Scraps. And she signed the book for me. So it was nice to meet her. We were able to get a picture of her. And I got this fat quarter bundle from her oh, wow. shop. 
So this is just some three quarters from her old out of print lines um, that I picked up to start building a stash to make one of these rainbow scrap quilts out of her book. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's not in order after that. It's, well, this was on Thursday. So this okay. this is from Sweet Pea. Um, Sweet Pea, for those of you that don't know, they are an online Australian uh, embroidery company. So they do things like, you know, digital files. So they weren't selling any files there, but they were selling all of the things to make their embroidery. So they had a really good deal on cork. So I got a spool of this cork. Um, it's like cork with silver metallic. It's an 18 by 25 piece. I got this for $4.99. It was normally $12. So I got that. I got this piece of cork. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a rainbow dot cork. Um, also was normally $12.95 and I got it for $4. Um, this leather, this uh, faux leather vinyl is normally $14 and I got it for $2.95. And then I got two of these like specialty vinyls. This one's like iridescent and this one's red glitter and these were on sale for $6.95. So I got those. Also from Sweet Pea, they had, Ooh. um, these six pack of nine and a half inch zippers. So these are like really cute. Like this is like white with blue. You say six pack. It's a six pack oh, um, of nine and a half. That's nice. And these were $2.70 for this six pack. So this is really with red. This one's an all gold metallic, real pretty. And then there's the white with the purple, the lilac. So these were two dollars and seventy cents a pack. I think you should probably give your friend as one of your zippers out of each of the packages. <laughs> he just has let a him, friend. Just let him pay for it. And this bag, let me tell y'all, this bag, everyone it's, was trying to get this bag at the. That's why they were selling out of stuff because people were just buying, buying stuff because stuff, they were giving this bag for free. So people really wanted that bag. That was pretty bag. That's the prettiest bag of the show. The show. It was really the prettiest bag of the show. Then also on, I think, I think that was it for Thursday, right? Now don't ask me. This was all Friday. Yeah. So then Friday, we Y'all didn't go to the show. Friday. Yeah, Friday we decided to take a break from the show. <clears throat> and we did some shop hopping. Um, Eric, Oda, Kevin, and I did some shop hopping in some Houston area stores. Um, so the first store we went to uh, was this cute little shop, um, the Montgomery Quilt Company. Very cute little shop in Montgomery, Texas. And I got from her a couple quarter yard prints of Jen Kingwell's fabric by Moda. So this is fabric Ooh. that Jen Kingwell has designed. Here's one print. There's another one. There's this one. Oh, I like that one too. And then finally with this one. So this was all from Montgomery Quilt Company. Oh, and this uh, this piece of Ruby Star Christmas. I liked it because it's snow globes with different cities from around the world. There's Paris. Um, New York City, you know, all different cities in these little Hollywood and these uh, snow globes, San Francisco. So I thought that was cute. So that was at Montgomery Quilt Company. And then we went down the street to Threaded Lines. So Threaded Lines was, they had their shop open and they also had a booth at a festival. But I just got a couple half yards of this fabric from Threaded Lines. Oh, so that's the, I remember seeing that, the silhouettes type. Yeah, so this I don't is know like what you call it, print. cameo, yeah. And this kind of just reminded me of like grandma's wallpaper, so I loved it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that wasn't, th th both of those stores were in Hamilton, Te yeah, Hamilton. Montgomery, I don't know why I keep saying Hamilton. Montgomery, Texas. 
Then we went to the store called The Quilty Shop. Now y'all, I've been to a lot of quilt shops, but this quilt shop was amazing. It was amazing. The pit, um, they were already getting ready for Christmas. She had Christmas trees everywhere, garlands, it was beautiful. She had candles burning when you walked in. Um, and so I had to get the wax melts to go with it. It says it was caramel corn, mm -hmm. which these smell so good. And then I got the brown butter pumpkin as well. Mm -hmm. So these both smell really good. And then I bought from her a couple other, um, what is the fabric I got from her? Here we go. So I got from her, <laughs> she had some Jen Kingwell fabric on Ooh. sale. Nope, this is not. That this looks is, like that other red one. Yeah, that's not from there. Okay. Um, I got this garlic fabric. Okay. A fat quarter. I got a fat quarter of this print, just like a green. This was all sale fabric at the quilty shop. I think she had it for $7 a yard with Keep a it. half yard minimum. You don't have to hold it up forward and then I got a couple half yard cuts of this sale fabric this green okay and this blue and then some fat quarters of a background um, these are also some fat quarters of background just more backgrounds of picked up Alice in Glass. So they had some old Alice in Glass that's out of print up there that we grabbed. Okay, so then I don't have the receipt for this last. Kevin, do you remember the store we went to after that? It was at Emporium. Quilters no we went here. That was the second shop. No, this was like, I don't remember, and I'm missing a receipt, so I'm going to miss some of these names. But at this store, this is um, a Fig Tree wide back. It's a 108 by Fig Tree that they had on sale for $13.99 a yard. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually working on a quilt right now that this will be the perfect backing for. So I just went ahead and picked this up. Um, that's just a really good deal for that. And then also at that store is where I got this Jen Kingwell fabric that she had this on sale for $5 a yard. So I had to buy a full yard, but for $5, you know, that's not a bad deal. Um, then we hit up another store. I don't remember where this one was either. Um, some more Wensleydale fabric. I need some lights mm -hmm. and just some cute prints to go with the other now those are those ruby star too? all ruby star okay okay and then the final shop we went to was called quilters emporium um and that store was probably you know that was a more traditional store every other store that we went to up until this point had a very big selection of modern and current designers this was more of the traditional quilter store. They had a lot of traditional pieces. So from here, I really just got some, they had a huge selection of uh, laundry basket uh, fabrics. So I just got some backgrounds to start adding to, to make those scrappy quilts because I want to do scrappy backgrounds. So I just grabbed a couple backgrounds from there. So that was it for the shop pop on Friday. Then, <laughs> <laughs> What had happened what was had happened again. Was we had to go back to the quilt. Festival. We had to. We had to. So Saturday came around, and uh, the other half of the vendors that we didn't see on Thursday, we went to on Friday. You so, want me to pause so you can clean off your space a yeah, little probably. bit? <laughs> okay, we're back with part two. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Houston Show Hall. Um, so this is what I ended up with on Saturday. So the first thing was Martelli had um, this 10-inch uh, round cutting mat. 
And this is a really nice one that's like on ball bearings. I do like this cutting mat a lot. This is normally uh, $70. They had it on show special for $29. So this was a really good deal for this that I picked up. And what's the circumference on the, did they have a, like what's the widest part of the circle? So this is a 10 inch circle. Okay. So you can trim up to a six and a half inch block. Like okay. a square block you mm -hmm. can do up to six and a half inches. Okay. To, to square up. Just want to let them know what size yep. it is. <laughs> so I got that from Martelli as well as um, they had everything else in their booth was 30% off. That's a nice bag too. Um, so I got a 10 pack of 60 millimeter um, uh, rotary blades and I got a 10 pack of 45 millimeter rotary blades uh, with the 30% off that brought these 10 packs down to $33. That's like $3 a blade. That was a really good deal. Mm -hmm. So I picked those up from them. Then um, also on Saturday um, we went to this little fabric store. Um, it was called Fabrics Etc. Um, and they had a really good sale um, on these fat quarters. These were all a dollar. So this was nice. We got, you know, I got several fat quarters for a dollar. This is like French Saint Bonjour, Merci. You know, just a green that you can use as a blender, a teal as a blender, some yellow, you know, just some yellow blenders, some backgrounds, and then some black and white prints and gray and white prints. So just for a dollar, these were really good to just have to do your scrap quilts with. And then for those of you that like Tilda, this was a really good deal. Um, this was a Tilda scrap bundle. So this is 10 Tilda fat quarters of her outer print can, line. Can you turn the folds to me? Yep, this is 10 yes. Tilda fat quarters um, of her outer print lines. These are all different purples. Um, and this was only $30. This was $3 for a Tilda fat quarter, which anyone that you know buys Tilda fabric knows that that's a really good deal. So that was what I bought from Fabrics Etc. on Saturday. Then, um, I have been going back and forth about going all in with the die cutter. Like right now, I just have an eight inch cube. Um, but, you know, I can't do everything with the die cutter because I don't have all of the dies to do everything I need it to do. So, um, a local deal, AccuQuilt was there, but then they had a local dealer there that was actually doing the sales and they had a really good sale on um, the Go, the Go Cubes and the Companion sets, they had them for 40% off. So these were normally like 200 and something. I got this uh, Companion set for 130. So I got the eight inch angles and I got the um, eight inch corners. And then since I do so much with six inch blocks and I use a lot of these sizes, I went ahead and bought the six inch cube. So this is gonna get me like almost every die I need to really do most of the cutting that I do. So this is gonna help me transition to be fully using my Go as much as possible. And if you wanna purchase any AccuQuilt Go products, just know that I am an affiliate and I will have a link down in the bottom of this video. Yes, please support Ms. T's affiliate link. Um, you know, these are great products and this really saves a lot of time. So I'm looking forward to really uh, using this for my quilting. And then I was like, okay, uh, AccuQuilt, I'm about to spend all this money. <laughs> what are you going to give me? Well, <laughs> I didn't get much, but I got something. I did get a jelly roll for free. You know, it's the Colors of Kindness by Riley Blake. So it's like rainbow colors with some white and black background strips. So that was nice and they were so nice to give me another die pick. So this is what I got for free for buying all this stuff from. Um, because you asked. Because I asked, right, I did ask. I was like, what are you gonna get me? Um, all right, let me, can you take that <laughs> This is ridiculous, y'all, just ridiculous. Okay, so that was Saturday. And then to close out the show on Saturday, <laughs> I met Janice. 
<laughs> so Janice, who is Janice? Well, what had happened was we were just walking <laughs> and I met Janice and I was like, okay, Janice has to come home with me. So let me introduce you to Janice. Aww. Aww, oh, look at Janice. <laughs> so this is that Janice. Is too cute. This is my first ever featherweight. So um, it was a really good deal. Um, the gentleman that sold it to me, you know, he rebuilt this whole thing from the insides and outs. Um, are the, all the straps and everything are new. The belts, rather. The foot pedals, you know, wired new. So it was a really good deal, and I'm excited to have this to take, you know, for traveling now. So um, I've always wanted one, and it was a great opportunity. What was included? I know you got the foot pedal in the case, the original case. So mine didn't come with much. Like my, so he he basically said that he sells him with sells them with whatever it came with. So okay. with mine, I got the original bobbin case and five bobbins. Um, I didn't even get the original booklet. This is like a reproduction booklet, mm -hmm. but it's a booklet. Mm -hmm. And then some sort of, I don't know what kind of foot this is, a, a ruffler or something. I'm not sure, but I got one foot with it. Okay. So. Do you have your, and you have the quarter inch, the regular standard foot that's on there. Yeah. And you're not sure if that's quarter inch or a standard foot at this point. I don't. Okay. So I'll have to measure. Mm-hmm. But so it's beautiful. It is a very nice. And then I did, he had a really, he, what he really sells, this is from um, Tailor Made Tables. Um, so what he was really there to sell were his, um, his tables. And so I was able to get, because I bought a featherweight, I was able to get this extension table, um, which was normally like $89 for like $69. He gave me $20 off of this. Mm -hmm. um, and it's black to go with the, the design of the featherweight. Mm -hmm. So that was all for Saturday. You weren't done shopping yet? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break and let Jason regroup. Okay. Part three with Jason. Well, back to part three. <laughs> so, okay, so um, these are the booklets that I did get to show you from Jen Kingwell. So this one is called Jenny from One Block. So this is actually really different for Jen Kingwell because if you've ever done her patterns, most of them are like a sampler. So it's lots of different types of blocks. So what's cool about this booklet is that it's um, all the quilts in here are made from the same block, which is not her typical type of uh, pattern. So these are kind of cool to have from her. And then I was able to get her to sign this booklet for me. I don't know if you can see it there, but it says, for Jason, love Jen. Mm. So these were, they were just a lovely family. They were just, the whole family was there. It was uh, Jen, her husband, and her two daughters, and they were just so nice. I, we visited with them the whole week we were there. Um, but I also did get the booklet Long Time Gone, which is another one of her big sampler quilts, very pretty quilts. And then I also got the Baker's Dozen, which is another sampler. So these are some really pretty sampler quilts. Okay. And then um, one thing that she did do for me, which I thought was so sweet, is I took one of my Wensleydale blocks in and she autographed my Wensleydale block right there. Very sweet. Hold on. There it goes. All right. <laughs> and it just says, uh, Jen it has a heart. And this is Jen Kingswell XX 2023. So I thought that was really sweet. And this is going to be a real special block now for the quotes. Um, one thing I forgot to show you that I did pick up on Saturday. Um, this is a scissor company out of um, Canada. Canada. Yeah, Ontario, right? LDH, yep. Yeah, uh, LDH scissors out of Canada. Um, and so they were there, they had a bunch of different shears, um, but I have some nice shears. Um, but what they did have was this rotary cutter. Um, this is a 60 millimeter rotary cutter. Um, it's very light, I like it, it's black, it's sleek. Um, if you notice the blades are black, it's because they use carbon steel. So I did buy an extra five pack of those blades to use to make 
if I like them, I have them. Did they say they were supposed to last longer by any last chance? Last longer, um, they're just sharper in okay. general. Okay. Um, so I picked those up. I also picked up from them, I love these. This is a pair of snips I just got. They're gold. Yeah, they are beautiful. Um, you know, the single finger snip. What's the weight? Are they heavy? They're very heavy. That's just yeah. reminding me of the Ginger the ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're very heavy. I think um, this is lighter. Is it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's got a good weight, but I think the Gingers, gingers are, are heavier. heavier. Mm -hmm. So that's the only my only complaint about those, but I love them. <laughs> and then they were really sweet and gave me two free pairs of these embroidery scissors, the crane. So I have a black pair and a copper pair. So that was nice. So that was actually everything from Saturday, I believe. <laughs> Today we went back and there were a few things that like I had been looking at that I was like, if I go back on Sunday, and there's a really good deal, I'm gonna pick it up. Like there was a, a few things that were on my list, um, but I wanted to make sure it was a good deal. So I have a Bernina 770 that I sew with and I don't have luggage for it. So I have been wanting a two-toe um, and new. This is the 1XL two-toe. These retail for 270, 290, you know, dollars. They had them on show special for 230, which I thought, you know, okay, that's a good deal. Um, but I went today and I was able to get the XL two toe for 175. And I then got the small two toe for the featherweight. So this is the smallest two toe. And I got this for 125. So I got all both of these for 300, mm -hmm. which is a really good deal. Very nice. So that was from Chucho. Um, then I met this really nice lady. Um, she has this really cool fabric. It's called Little House Cottons. She does not sell to, she doesn't really sell to stores. Um, she's very new, she's direct to consumer right now. So this is all her fabric. Um, I got a fat quarter bundle. Um, it's just really cute Christmas fabric. Um, very unique designs um, and so I grabbed a fat quarter bundle from her. Um, from the fat quarter shop because I just got the machine so I didn't have any grease so I had to buy some grease for the featherweight and the oil for the featherweight. And then the other thing I got from them is this uh, seam guide. So this is to perfect your quarter inch. Um, it comes with. Dang. They really package stuff to make sure it gets to you safe. So this is like this piece right here is where you line your needle up. I don't know if you can see it, but it has holes for every different measurement. And that's where you then set your seam guide butt up against it and you screw this down into the machine. So then you have a guide for your quarter inch or whatever size seam you're wanting to make. So I got that from Fat Quarter Shop. Okay. Then, <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm ridiculous. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Oh my so, goodness. <laughs> then I stopped over connecting threads they had everything on the last day an extra 20% off, right? And so Connecting Threads, um, I didn't know this until today. They, well, they're direct to consumer. I didn't know that, but they grow their own cotton. So they don't even have the middleman of buying cotton and they print their own fabrics. They used to have the cotton person there, but they didn't have a booth. So they, they cut that out this year. But okay. They come from another country and yeah. But have the cotton, they be giving out free bags made out of the cotton. Of the cotton. Mm -hmm. So I've been wanting to try their thread. This was a five spool pack of thread that was normally, I think, 20, 28 or $32 normal price. Looked like they changed their packaging on that thread too, or they've changed the type of thread. It just looks different. It I've looks never bigger. Used it. I've mm -hmm. never used it. So. Right now it looks bigger. 
Okay. Um, but they had this on show special for $15 for five spools, but mm -hmm. then I got an extra 20% off, so I got it for like $12. Mm -hmm. So that's, cool. that's not a bad price. And you get to try it at that price. Right, and they had the big cones for $10, which I almost bought a cone, but it's like if I don't like the thread, I don't want a big mm -hmm. cone, mm -hmm. so. It's so always I, another show. What's that? It's always yep. another show. <laughs> and then I also got from them this fat quarter bundle of just Ooh. like, it's a whole bunch of white on whites, grays on grays, and blacks on blacks. Like this is great to have for backgrounds, Beautiful. for different scrap blocks and everything. Um, and this was normally $44, which is not bad at a normal price. How many fat quarters? Uh, it is 25 okay, so it's $44 good. for 25 fat quarters. I got an extra 20% off, so this was like 30 something dollars, so it was a really good deal for all these cool. fat quarters. You feel so like, I'm, Kevin, do you feel like you should have gone first? <laughs> Kevin over here. Yeah, better not expect much from me. <laughs> so that was... OMG, I think that's it, except for one last thing behind you. Yes. Okay, so then the other thing that I was looking at is the Daylight Company was at the show. Uh, and I do, I needed, I was in the market for a new lamp and I don't have a travel lamp either. I had bought an Outlight um, at Joann's when they had them on sale and I plugged it in and it was not doing what I needed it to do. Oh, wow. So I took that Outlight back and so the Daylight Company was here. Um, and this was the light that I was looking at. It's called the Slimline 3. Um, Kevin has this, he recommended it to me. Um, it's a table lamp and it goes, it's a very long bar that will go over the whole length of your sewing machine so i got that and i also got the twist to go this is a rechargeable table lamp that you can use for like retreats and when you go to a class and stuff so this will be my travel lamp um and i was looking at this on saturday and also on um no just saturday and this was normal price right here was 185 well actually the normal price was 230 they had it on a show special for 185 i bought their floor model for 125 so that was a really great deal half off of their retail and then this was retail price like 190 they had it on show special for like 120 and i got this for 75 so i got both of these lights for 200 which was the price of just this light originally so that mm -hmm. was a good deal that i got yeah and i think is that it that's it it yeah. was fun yeah. your uh, first international my quilt first festival. international quilt festival i will say the vendors are very different here than they were from paducah um you know it was more i think more national level vendors than uh, paducah vendors are more fabric oriented yes, and we yes. had a lot more different specialty mm -hmm. vendors i think like ruler companies and you have some of that at paducah but i think they have a lot more specialty yeah here. yeah so it was a lot of fun um, it was a lot of fun hanging out with eric and carla ford and kevin and miss t it was a, a blast we've been sewing in the hotel it's just been a lot of fun so excited to get home feeling very inspired i will tell you the one thing is like you just want to go home and sew now after you saw all of these beautiful quilts and all these beautiful fabrics and all these things that you were able to grab. So I'm excited to go home and create. So thank you for letting me share with you. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Yes. And we're going to come back with Kevin, the quilter, next. Don't get Yay! Too and now we're up with Kevin, the quilter, with his haul. Hey, I hope you ain't expecting much from me after that because... That was quite the haul, but I'm proud of Jason because he had such a good time here his first time, didn't you, Jason? I did. Yes, he did. I don't know if my wallet did. It was fun watching his enthusiasm over things, though. Mine is very, gonna go real quick because I didn't get much, okay? But, um, and I don't know that I can do the day by day thing that Jason did because he's got a good, better memory than me. But first day, I got a pattern, <laughs> and it was free. <laughs> and he didn't even buy any. You didn't buy anything else in that store. I didn't store. buy a thing in there, but they gave me just a for visiting I the think store. The deal was is is if you were visiting the festival and you came out to their quilt shop, they gave you something free, and it was this pattern, and it's cute. It's a Halloween pattern. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. 
a friend of mine um, has a pretty little grandbaby, and it's a little girl. And that first shop we went to, Buttons and Bows. Buttons and Bows uh, specialized in like clothing, and especially in children's clothing with smocking and everything. And I I talked to the grandmother a little bit about this, and she seemed to think that that little grandbaby would look cute in something like this. So I, um. no, I am not a garment sewer. No, I am not, but the grandmother has dabbled in it just a little bit. When she went roller skating, she'd have a new outfit every night for the roller skating rink. <laughs> so got this cute little fabric there it's on pretty. sale. Yeah, so that was one thing I got, so. I get to dabble in sewing clothes now. Hold on for a second, Kevin. Okay. I think we need to change the battery. Okay. Go. Welcome back. Nice new fresh battery and now we're ready to go. So uh, I did find this pattern here along with Jason. Uh, it, it is by, uh, it's called the Oak Hill Farm and it's a sampler quilt from From My Heart to Your Hands quilt designs by Lori Smith. I love their pattern. It's a very, very pretty quilt they had hanging there. And you know, Miss T loves a sampler and she's kind of got my eyes open to sampler since the boho heart and Jason loves a sampler. So who knows what we'll do with that. This was my purchase that I thought was a great buy. Um, they had these mats. I couldn't tell you what booth it was in. I have no idea, but they had these wool mats. Do you know the size on this, Miss T? Isn't it 17 by 17? Does it say? Yes, 17 by 17. And they had this mat for $20. And I thought that was an excellent Very deal. Good deal. So I purchased me one of those, and I do love pressing on a wool mat. So got one of those. And uh, another friend that was visiting the show visited with a quilter who is the author of this book. And my friend was just so nice and picked this book up for me. Can you believe that? Um, actually, she'll be able to tell you more, but it, it's a very nice book. It's nicely written. It has some really nice patterns in it. And it's kind of after my own heart. Uh, taking an antique quilt and reproducing it. So I really like that and appreciate that. So thank you, Miss T. <laughs> and then um, went on the shop hop with Eric and Jason, had a very nice time. Uh, excellent shops are in and around Houston. Mm -hmm. Very pleased with those shops. The first one we went to was Montgomery Quilt Company. Company. And that owner couldn't have been nicer. She was wonderful. And I got these black and white half yard prints there. With some kind of bowl on there. Got some pins. And then a check kind of plaid looking thing. And then, uh, I don't think I bought anything at the second shop, but I did enjoy visiting with the owner. And then, no, the second shop was the modern shop, and I didn't get anything yeah. there. And then the third shop, I visited with the owner, and that was nice. And then the quilty shop, everyone in and around Houston needs to go to the quilty shop. Yes. It was amazing. It was beautiful. It was well organized. It was just great. And a lot of that from there is what I got. Um, you already saw these from Jason. I also got this cafe facade. Huh. And uh, where did we get these chairs? That, that, that was the modern shop. That was the oh, yeah, okay, that so was that, the was the yeah, that was the second shop. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry, I missed that. That was the second shop. Yeah. Uh, but then we got these Allison Glass neutrals also at the Quilty Shop. Oh, and um, I got two candles. Where, where are those candles? You must have them in your room. No, I think I left them. On. Yes, there they are. Yeah, you got some good candles. These candles are, <laughs> they had the whole shop smelling like these candles, and it was just delicious. Nice. I got 
pain, our, our brown butter pumpkin. Mmm. Mm. And it smells so good. And then I got another one called milk and sugar. Something like that. But I love a good smelling oh, candle. Oh, this right here. Okay. I'm blending in with the sheet. <laughs> Yes, milk and sugar. This is the one they had in the shop burning and it just smelled delicious. So, got that. Let's see, that was the sh that was all for the shop hop day that I got, yeah. Um, and then, yesterday, uh, we found that uh, booth that had all the fat quarters for a dollar. And I mean, there's just a variety there. They, they even had batiks. Um, for a dollar, but can I show those patterns because I forgot to show them? Where are they? Okay, go the ahead. Got today. Where are they? They're under your stuff, probably. Got some white with black print. Just a variety of things. I mean, <laughs> how can you pass up dollar fat quarters? Right. Seriously. That one's pretty. Mm-hmm. They got lots of different ones. So that's that. That was yes. Did I get this yesterday too? I think I did. I can't remember. I also got a rotary cutter. And I really liked visiting with the owners. They were very nice. This is 60 millimeter and it is the lightest rotary cutter I have ever handled. Ever. And it took very little force to use it. So I was like, with my wrists, I'm going to do that, even though I cut a lot with AccuQuill. And I also got the blades, the replacement blades. And they gave me a little pair of crane scissors also. So that's that. Oh, and met a very nice designer from Oregon, Jason and I did. and uh, got to talking to her and she was very nice and showed these patterns and shared these patterns with us. So she just gave them to you? Yeah, mm -hmm. we, were, we were just visiting and she's like, hey, you know what? I always like to get some feedback. She's like, just, I'll just give you these patterns here. And uh, so one's a Christmas tree called Winter Postage. Looks like little postage stamps. And then this is JC's Thorny Crown. Kind of like a goose in the puddle, goose in the pond, <laughs> whatever you call it. Okay. Uh, but she was she was very nice, very nice. And then today I couldn't be left out on these <laughs> here, and uh, I am not an embroidery anything. However, I got to looking over in their bins. Miss T, don't get mad at me. <laughs> okay. They had an excellent buy. This is 20 fat quarters. That's cute. And it's it's their fabric. It's 20 like kind of neutrals, lights and grays and all that. And then 20 brights are, wait, 10, 10, 10, 10 excuse me. 10. And uh, it's called Shades of Gray. You are naughty. <laughs> and they had this on sale for, what was this? 30? 30. $32. $32. Okay. And I couldn't pass it up. I mean, that's really good buy on really cool. You know, I love $2. I know you do. Yeah, I went in there and saw them, but I was like, girl, you don't need another piece of fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and as Jason was talking to them, what was that? Uh, connecting threads. We got to talk and I said, I want to feel that thread and do a break test. She's like, why don't you just take this home and sew with it and see if you like it? So she just gave it to me. <laughs> that is too so, funny. Don't be pulling on my thread in so, front of folk. <laughs> you know, well, and she actually did let us. Yeah, that um, was funny. She let us do that too. But I'm telling you, that's it, folks. That's it? That's all, folks. All right, um, all right. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Your wrap oh. up on the official. I know we did it on the live, but everybody's not going to watch an hour and a half video. So your take on the... Quilt Festival as well. Quilt Festival, I can refer to pre-pandemic. The last time that we were here was 2019. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the show then was much larger. Uh, they had a lot more vendors, a ton more quilts. I personally was very disappointed with the number of quilts they had in the juried section of the show. I thought, I really don't know what happened. I, and Miss T will give her opinion. I don't know how after the pandemic there could be fewer quilt entries unless something's going on that we don't know about. Um, you know, maybe they aren't fond of leadership or something. And please understand, that's just my guesstimate. I, I don't know. But I was very disappointed in the number of jury quilts. The quilts that were in the show were beautiful, of course. Um, the exhibitions were very interesting, thought-provoking. I always like those. Uh, first time I've ever been to Quilt Festival where I've gotten through the whole quilt show in one day. <laughs> and um, the vendors had great vendors. And I have to say this year there wasn't a lot of extra stuff. Like, not a lot of extra clothing, not a lot of extra vacuum cleaners, not a lot of extra jewelry, that kind of stuff in a vendor. It was mostly quilt related, which I did appreciate, even though there weren't as many vendors. Let's build these shows back up, though. It's time that we need to build them up. Yeah. So that's that's my personal opinion. Thank so. you, sir. You're welcome, ma'am. <laughs> So guys, that's going to be it for this haul. My haul, again, is going to be Wednesday, November 8th, I think, 2023, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you then. Bye, everybody. You all stay blessed. Be safe. And quilt we'll out. out. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.